sit comfortably in a relaxed posture take a deep breath and recite one omkara enjoy the resonance feel the calmness of the mind gently open your eyes जिज्ञासा और स्पिरिचुअल एस्पिरेशन इज द फाउंडेशन ऑफ ज्ञान योग अकॉर्डिंग टू द वेदांतिक स्क्रिप्चर्स जिज्ञासा इज द कोर नेचर ऑफ ह्यूमन बीइंग धर्मा ऑफ ह्यूमन बीइंग द लिटरल मीनिंग ऑफ धर्मा इज नेचर स्वभाव we see dharma of fish is to be in water if you bring out that fish from the water it will fall and die the same way one who doesn't know how to swim he is not comfortable in water dharma of birds nature of birds is to fly if you make the same bird to walk the bird feels difficult animals cannot walk sorry animals cannot fly animal dharma is to walk in the same way what is the dharma of human beings the very word manushya reveals the dharma of human beings human nature the word manushya or manava what's the meaning of that it is derived from the root mana mana jnane that is a root of course manushya is a descendant of an ancient king called manu that's there there's a puranic way of looking at the word manushya but the vedic interpretation of the word manushya is this it is from the root mana mana jnane mana is to know therefore it's very clear that manushya's core nature is viveka discriminating faculty manushya's core nature is jnana wisdom knowledge and inquisitive nature aspiration to that knowledge is manushya's quality if that is not fulfilled even with so many things a human being cannot get satisfied it is true that a human being can get attracted towards materialistic pressures a human being can build huge buildings huge apartments and a human being can earn so much crores and millions of money a human being can buy high qualified materials like car or helicopter he can keep so many things with him but a day will come in which he will feel difficulty he will be dissatisfied if his fundamental questions regarding spirituality are not properly answered if his spirit 
he is not satisfied if his soul is not satisfied just with the materialistic pleasures a human being cannot get satisfaction at all in his life this is a human nature this jignasa is human nature upanishad is giving sufficient answers to the questions to the quest related to the human nature and upanishad also insists the human values through which one can grow in spirituality shama and dama these are the prerequisites of spiritual any spiritual sadhana raja yoga starts with yamas and niyamas yamas and niyamas they are nothing but human values ahimsa parobhakara satya asteya these are all human values without which dhyana yoga or raja yoga is not getting fulfilled in the same way we see in jnana yoga jnana yoga also starts with shama dama through shama dama the spiritual aspiration grows and through that spiritual aspiration one further grows with the quest and these questions are getting answered this is a path in jnana yoga human values i was talking about how this kena upanishad gives the prerequisites of spiritual growth we see disciple goes to guru in kena upanishad and asks for vedanta asks for brahma vidya oh teacher oh grand master teach us of brahman he says immediately the guru answers uktavate upanishad ब्राह्मीं बाबत उपनिषद अब्रूमे तस्ई तपो दम शम कर्म प्रतिष्ठा आलि ब्रह्म विद्या इज टोल टू यू यट यू हेव नाट एट गाट द सेफ नॉलेज दर् फो फॉर यू ई एम प्रिस्क्रैबिंग ह्यूमन वैल्यूज यू प्राक्टी दीज वैल्यूज तपो दम शम shama dama and tapasya you practice just through lecture just to through discourse you did not attain that brahma gyana therefore for you i am giving i am prescribing human values practicing that get mastery over your senses then you can get self realization this is how the guru says in kena upanishads and in katha upanishad what happens in katha upanishad also yama is testing nachiketas yama did not give immediately brahma vidya to nachiketas he was going on talking and testing let me give you lot of materialistic pleasures you enjoy all of those things please don't ask this question the third question this is what yama says to nachiketas but nachiketas is firm in his tapasya therefore by seeing this tapasya by seeing the sense control of nachiketas yama is offering brahma vidya this is in katha upanishad and what happens in prashna upanishad the disciples go to their guru pipalada and they request pipalada to teach brahman pipalada says bhuya eva tapasa sraddhaya sambatsaram sambatsyata you stay in gurukula for one year and here you practice austerity you practice human values you get mastery over your senses then i shall test you and give you brahma vidya this is what pipalada says therefore human values and the austerity to cherish this spiritual aspiration they are very important in prashna upanishad also then in this way what we see in taitriya upanishad when bhrugu comes to the great varuna asking question what is brahman varuna doesn't give any lecture 
Varuna doesn't deliver any discourse. He just says, Tapasadruna Vijigyasa Swaya. Go on to do Tapasya. Only by Tapasya, you can understand Brahman. You can realize Brahman. There, Sri Shankaracharya commands, Tapayeva Uttama Sadhanam. To realize Brahman, Tapasya is the most vital sadhana. Without Tapasya, Brahman cannot be realized. This is what Shankaracharya says. Then he also defines Tapasya. It is not Tapasya which was done by Ravana or Hiranyakashipu. He prescribes and he, Shankaracharya defines Tapasya there. Tapasya is nothing but Bahya Antakkarana Samadhanam. Shankaracharya says this. Calming the internal and external senses is Tapasya. Therefore, in the heart of Sri Shankaracharya also it is there that without tapasya or without sadhana of calming the mind, calming the internal and external senses, one cannot attain Brahma Vidya, one cannot attain self-realization. So to calm the senses, what is needed? Human values are needed. Therefore, Taitri Upanishad starts in this way. Veda Manuchya Acharya Ante Vasana Manushasti. Acharya instructs Sishya Satyam Vada Dharmam Chare Swadhyayanma Pramadaha Acharya Yapriyam Dhanama Krutya Prajatam Tum Madhya Vachesi. Do not cross the border of Satya, do not cross the border of Dharma, don't be lazy with dharmic activities. Satyana Pramadita Vyam Dharmana Pramadita Vyam. Revere your mother, revere your father, Matur Devo Bhavai, Pitru Devo Bhavai, revere your Acharya, Acharya Devo Bhavai, Atiti Devo Bhavai, revere your holy guest, Atiti Devo Bhavai, Satyam Bhavai, be always truthful, be always dharmic. These are all the prerequisites of Vedanta and Yoga. This is what Taitri Upanishad emphasizes. Na virato duscharitat na ashantaha na asamahitaha na ashanta manasovati pragyane naivam apniyat. Upanishad says, Na avirataha duscharitat, one who is not withdrawing himself from, what to say, duscharita, wrong deeds. Na ashantaha, one who is not calm, one who is highly disturbed, one who is highly stressed in his mind. Na asamahitaha, one who has no concentration, one who has no calmness in his mind, cannot get the self-realization. This is the statement in Kena Upanishad. And it is very clearly told that Nayam Atma Pravachanena Labhyaha, through discourse, Atman cannot be attained, self cannot be realized. Na medaya, neither through intelligence, Na bahuna sute na neither nor through scholarship. This is how the Upanishad says. Therefore, then what's the need of listening to discourse or lecture? The question comes. The answer is this. Only when we get mass, only if our mind is calm, only if we practice human values, the discourses can help. Okay. Otherwise, the discourses, the lectures cannot help. Therefore, in this sadhana of Jnana Yoga, always either Brahma Sutra or Upanishads or Bhagavad Gita prescribes the values, the human values and getting mastery over senses as a very important step in this Jnana Yoga. Thus, these are the prerequisites of Jnana Yoga, which Krishna says in the Gita, Tad Vidhi Pranipatena Pariprasnena Sevaya. May we serve our Gurus, may we eliminate our ego, Pranipatena, may we revere and learn this Brahma Vidya. This is what Sri Krishna talks about the prerequisite of Brahma Vidya. May we pray for a few seconds with closed eyes. May we pray the Divine <coughs> Sri Krishna, the Jagat Guru, the Master in Bhagavad Gita, Yogeshwara, the Master of Yoga, 
may we pray that this prerequisite of Brahma Vidya come to us. The fundamental Shama and Dhamma come to us. May we try to eliminate the ego. May we improve internal and external sense mastery, Shama and Dhamma. May we improve the human values in us. May we improve the spiritual quest, Jigyasa, aspiration in us. As these are the basics of uh, Jnana Yoga, with the surrendering mind, may we pray the Divine, may all these uh, fundamental values be in us, be in us. May we enjoy the silence within us. Let us pray for the universal welfare. Om Asato Oh, uh-huh.